How to pose in front of the camera? This is a special for guys. But most of all, what do you really say in your photos when you pose in front of the camera? You will discover all this in this video. Hello, hello, Shatterbox! This video has been highly, highly requested. And this is the moment, this is when I show you everything. Well, not everything because that will take me a long time, but a lot of tips are coming up for you guys. If you're excited to discover all these tips, hit the like button so I know that you want more videos like this. Before I start with the poses that you should be doing in your beautiful photos, I really want you to think why. Why should I even care about posing in photos? I can just stand there, look like I am, and that's it. And yeah, basically you're right, you can do whatever you want. But there is a little factor that you might be interested in, and that's body language. We do say a lot of things with our words, but we also say a lot of things with our body and with our expressions. And when we communicate with somebody else, it's a full combo. It's not necessarily just whatever you're saying. For example, if, and I'm sure that guys have heard this a million times, the phrase, I'm okay. So it's not the same saying, I'm okay, or I'm okay, or I'm okay. Very different ways to say I'm okay, and a lot of meanings going on there. So most of the same things happen when we pose in our photos. We're communicating with our hands, with our legs, with our body, with everything. And then it takes us to this other concept that it's the first impression. So the first impression that we pick up when we see a photo. Um, we like it or not, our life is not that private anymore thanks to social media, which I love, <laughs> actually. But yeah, it's not that private anymore, so anyone can really see your photos and anyone can, can make anything up in their mind. So if you want to control a little bit what you're saying in front of the camera, definitely this video is going to help you a ton. So now, let's start with the juicy things. One of the basic things about body language is that if we close ourselves, uh, we tend to be very insecure and that's pretty much the general message. But if we use open poses, meaning we expose our chest, uh, it really uh, makes you look more powerful, more in control of the situation. When we are doing a profile photo, we definitely want to look like we are, but maybe a little bit more rigid and serious and all this stuff. But uh, maybe if we're telling a story, you can actually use this to your advantage because if you want to look like you're going through something, uh, if you don't, if you want to show in the photo that you don't feel comfortable about something, uh, it happens a lot. Like when we're in social media, we post a photo and then we write a caption or something. So. Uh, if you want to transmit like, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't feel right about this <laughs> uh, or I feel sad about this, maybe having this like super powerful pose doesn't really make a lot of sense, you know what I mean? It really needs to be connected with what do you want to say. It's normal and this is one of the first things that happen if you're a guy or if you're a girl, it doesn't really matter. You can get very tense in front of the camera and when we get tense in front of the camera, it doesn't look cute. So we start, you know, putting our shoulders up, we don't know what to do, our hands start being super weird. So a way to really relax and try to stay a little bit more present in the moment is to actually touch your hands and it can look very, very photogenic. I would suggest and not to have close uh, actions with your hands because it really shows that you are tense, uh, that you are not really comfortable with whatever you're doing. 
but if you try to keep it very smooth with kind of open hands you really are gonna be able to achieve a way more relaxed look you are still gonna help your composition in your photo and most of all you are gonna be able to look powerful if that's the message that you want to get if not that's okay look away this one i actually find it a little bit funny and it really depends on the message that you want to give if you look straight up to the camera it, it might make you a little bit tense but if you do it the right way you can feel very connected and you can be very engaged with the camera and the person that is actually checking out the photo but if you look away you don't need to look away all the time but if you do it in some of your photos you're gonna start looking a little bit more mysterious and that's actually more attractive to a lot of women so if you're looking for somebody it's a great idea that in your photo you look a little bit away and look a little bit mysterious you can have a sample of each one let me know in the comments which one do you prefer do you like to look away or do you like to look in front of the camera by the way if you're enjoying this video don't forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button I share photo tips every week. Fix your jacket. This is a great tip when you have really no idea what to do. <laughs> and this actually is gonna help you look smoother and more confident and a lot of celebrities use this trick. You can fix your jacket, just try to act like if you're fixing it or maybe you're fixing uh, the sleeves. The Rock used this one all the time. I will suggest that when somebody is taking your photo, don't go for the pose right away because it can look a little bit rigid if you're a little bit nervous. So try to move around, like touch it, like actually do the action. And the person that is photographing you, if they are a little bit patient, they can really get an amazing, amazing result. So I would recommend you to move slowly, but don't stop moving. Most of the time, we feel that we need to be very straight well, you know, very straight. And yet, yeah, open poses, they do make you look and feel more confident. But if you want to have a photo maybe for your social media or something that it's a little bit more relaxed, you don't necessarily need to go for that pose. You can actually go a little bit forward. I'm gonna show you an example here because this is gonna be easier than just describe the pose. But when you do exactly that, it makes you look more relaxed and approachable. So it's not necessarily like, oh, I don't care. It is more of like a relaxed look for a guy. So you can definitely use this and then you don't have the pressure of like, oh my God, I need to be super straight in all my photos. You can, you can relax a little bit, you know, chill and give it some vibe to your photo. Don't be symmetric. Well, I'm being a little bit radical here. You can be symmetric and there are symmetric photos that can look very good. But in general, when we uh, give a little bit of spice to your composition, giving a lot of uh, curves to your body it can look very feminine. Hey, if you like it, I think it's okay. But if you're going for a very masculine vibe, obviously making curves, it's not the way. But you can break a little bit the symmetry so if you're sitting down you can probably put one of your legs a little bit uh, longer than the other one so you're breaking a little bit that symmetry and it makes you look more relaxed and you're helping a lot the composition in your photo so it could be very powerful by the way if you're enjoying this video don't forget to subscribe just so you the bonus round. It's not a specific pose, but it's definitely a great tip that is gonna help you, especially if you don't feel very comfortable in front of the camera, which is very common for women, for men, doesn't matter. It's way easier to pose and feel more confident when you're actually doing something. Doing something, it makes things so much easier. So instead of just looking straight in front of the camera, just try to play around a little bit with stuff. You can actually play with your phone and look up. So you're actually making an activity that it will make you feel more relaxed in the moment. 
So don't be afraid to actually plan a little bit before your photo shoot so you have a couple props that you can use. It can even be sunglasses, play again with your jacket. And there's many things that you can really use to spice up your photo and, and feel more connected with the moment and the camera because this really goes through the lens. I hope Chatterbox that you really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, to leave a comment below. If you want more videos like this, I'll be very, very excited to make another one. And of course, let me know in the comments if you have any other doubts about photography. In the description box, I always leave you a ton of information that it's linked to my blog so you can get more tips or you can get more links for other videos that you can find in my YouTube channel that I believe gonna be very helpful for you. Don't forget, you're beautiful and special. See you next week.